Hello everyone, this video is an introduction to Adobe Illustrator interface. Um, I have the version 2019. Uh, if you do have the same version but your interface does not look like mine, uh, it's probably because you have a different workspace. Uh, if you take a look at here, I have Essentials workspace. And if you have Essentials and still your interface does not look like mine, please click on Reset Essentials. That will bring everything back to the way um, uh, it's been defaulted. So um, first things first, on the left side we have the toolbar and um, I'm gonna go to Essentials and do the same thing. If I reset Essentials you see it will bring it to one column. If you want to have uh, this in two columns you can click on this double headed arrow here and you will have it in two columns. There's an advantage to it. Um, the advantage is that these tools are somehow grouped. For instance, the selection tools are here, pen tools are here, uh, drawing tools are here, and so forth. So um, it's much easier to find tools if you're looking for them. And also, if you take a look at some of these tools, you see on the bottom right corner of them, there's a little triangle. That means um, this is not just one tool here, and that's a tool set. And if you click and hold one of these, you'll see um, the entire tool set is available to you. On the top, uh, we have the menus, as you have seen in every single software. Uh, we do have file edit and uh, some other ones that are particularly used for Illustrator. I showed you this area already, which is called the workspace. Uh, this segment is called Search Adobe Stock. If you're looking for imagery that you want to use in your um, designs and you want to buy images from Adobe Stocks, you can search for them here on this right top right corner search box. The Essentials workspace comes with three panels. You can modify this and add um, or remove some panels. I'll show you how to do that in a moment. But let's take a look at this and see what we got. We got properties, we got layers, and libraries. So let's just start a new file and see how these work. I'm going to go to File New. Um, this window will pop up. It says letter size 8.5 by 11. Um, I'm going to say OK. I'm, I just want to demonstrate a couple of things here, so I'm not really particular about the exact size. But as you see, as soon as we have this on, we got some elements showing here on the properties. The properties are related to the tool you have selected. So at this point, I have the direct selection tool. If I go back to here, the first tool on the top left corner, the selection tool, the properties will change. If I come here and go for rectangle tool, the properties will change as well. Uh, the properties will accommodate some adjustments that you can apply. For instance, if I, I am on the rectangle tool, so if I click and drag here, I have a rectangle and I can change the stroke and fill, etc. So I do have uh, more videos about drawing, so don't be worried about this. I'm just giving you a quick demo. And also here, if you go to the Layers panel, um, what you see is the stack of all the layers. At this point, I only have one layer. That's the rectangle that I just drew. So that's all I see here. Uh, we have libraries. Uh, libraries shows all the elements you have added to the library here and anytime you draw something you can drag it here and that will be added to the libraries which is which basically goes to uh, Adobe Creative Suite Cloud and that can be shared um, between all Adobe software that you have. For instance, if you want to have an element, you draw it here, you draw a logo for instance, you can drop it here and then open Photoshop and then go to libraries in Photoshop and then drag that and uh, drop it to, to the design you're working with in Photoshop. So that's super useful. Uh, in order to have different uh, panels here, you can go to Window 
and you can a have access to all the panels that are available in Adobe Illustrator. As you see, I have libraries checked, and that's why we have libraries. Um, if you want to switch to other configurations of the software, uh, you can come back here and then go to different forms of layouts that are been have been saved here for you. You can go to Essentials Classic, for instance, if you worked with Adobe Illustrator before, uh, you're probably more familiar with this layout, which is quite cool as well. You have access to a lot of panels that are super useful. Um, this is one of my favorite forms of layout, but if you go to Essentials, this has one advantage that you have access to properties here. So I want you to look around and experiment with all these uh, various um, workspaces. Um, one thing I want to mention is if you go to Essentials Classic, you have access to the properties here on the bar format right under the menus. So you're not going to have it on the side anymore. I'm going to switch to Essentials one more time. Um, I'm going to show you a couple of things here. If you go to Window and let's say for instance I want the panel align. So I can just click on it. I'm just going to go to the selection tool here as well. All right. So um, anytime you click on one of these panels, they will pop up here. So there you go. I called a few of them right here. Uh, you can place them anywhere you like and if you want to bring them here and add them to this uh, stack of panels you can just grab the top part of it and drag it here as soon as you see th uh, this uh, border turns blue you can just let it go and it will be added to this you can bring this one here as well and group them on top of each other as you see they can get a little bit too busy here and there's another double headed arrow here and if you click on it you see um, all the panels uh, stacked on the top of each other. That's another way of looking into panels and arranging them as well. Um, now that I'm here, let's say I don't need artboards anymore. I can just grab it and drag it out. Now I have access to this cross. I can just click on the cross and it goes away. If I want it back, I can always go back here and click on artboards and it comes back. If you rearrange everything here and you're not happy with them, uh, you want to go back to Essentials. As I noted in the beginning of the video, you can simply go to here for Workspace and click on Reset Essentials and everything will turn back to the Essentials layout. Uh, there's one more little thing here. Uh, I might as well mention it right now. It's called Arrange Documents. So if you have more than one document, at this point I have one. Um, let's go open another one. I'm just going to go File New. It says Untitled 2. That's okay for the moment. So I have two and I'm just going to draw another rectangle here just to differentiate these two and change the fill to let's say a dark navy blue. So I have two documents here, right? I can go here and arrange these for instance two up vertically so I can have access to both of them at the same time. Uh, you can go back here, arrange them horizontally or you can have them go back to a single um, document at the same time. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching.